What's this? Open it. What is this? It's a flashlight. So you don't have to be in the dark anymore. Not in Margaret's trunk and not about me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What's wrong? Kelly. Yes, sir. So she knows what Margaret did to me. Okay. You're meeting a man here that you met on the internet whose screen name is King of Hearts. Now, don't make it sound so sordid. The Dorian Lord I know would never go trolling on the internet for a date. I think it's time to go home. No! Let's Dorian! Come on, you don't the want to. Tables have turned. What? Well, you're now trying to run Dorian's life instead of the other way around. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Another person that knows what Margaret did to me. I'm probably telling Dorian right now I'm going to put a stop to it. Todd, come on, come on, come on. No fighting, not tonight. You know, I don't think you should be mad at Kevin either. In fact, I think you should be grateful to him. I'm a lawyer. Dorian is meeting someone here that she met on the internet, so I'm just trying to protect her from herself. Come on, let's go. Spoken like the true master. An innocent little date does not compare with a walking time bomb like Kevin. Dorian. <laughs> no, really. My worries and concerns are valid, whereas yours, while touching, are totally unnecessary. Personally, I can't wait to see what kind of misfit you've managed to hook yourself up with. He sounds like a marvelous man. <laughs> The only thing you know about him is that he has a computer. And is he a man? Just relax. Listen to me. Adriana is the one who set me up with this. What? Yes. She says I need to get out there more. And she's right. She says that if I focus on my own betterment, I'll worry less about my girls. Case in point, tonight, maybe you're here with Kevin Blair is with Todd. Am I trying to get either one of you out of here, dragging you, kicking and screaming out of here? No. I'm just standing here with my perfect rose, waiting for the man of my dreams to arrive. You want me to thank Kevin? Yes. Yes, Todd, because, you know, I know the truth now. And I think because I know the truth, we've gotten closer. We're almost back to the way we were. We're closer. Mm -hmm. That's what you think. Don't you? I mean, I thought you'd be upset about this whole thing. Look, it wasn't your fault. I mean, I'm a little freaked about what happened to the both of us, but I'm not angry. Okay. We're closer. That's great. You think that I'm upset because we haven't made love yet, right? You were sexually assaulted. You're not going to wake up tomorrow or the next day or the week after that and just be okay. It's going to take some time. But we can heal. You can heal. And we can get back to the life we always dreamed when we were apart. I mean, that's why we survived. Um... I realize that this is a difficult time for you. Daniel Colson is being sworn in to a job that you love tomorrow, but that doesn't give you an excuse to attack me. I didn't attack you. You said I was behaving like Dorian. That's an attack. Well, if the stiletto fits. I am not anywhere near as as conniving and manipulative. Oh, yeah? What about is. last night? Huh? You knew BE offices were bug. You knew that Blair was listening. That is vintage, Dory. I did not know that the BE offices were Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't know that Blair was listening. And if you're having trouble believing me, then maybe we just shouldn't work together. But, Kelly... I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. Hey, um... I just want you to know that I'm glad you're okay. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I'm just really sorry about everything that has happened. And um, 
I didn't want Blair to find out okay. the way she did it. And just so you know, I didn't know anything about Not Blair. I figured word. it out on myself. Just don't go off on, on Kevin again, please. I mean, don't go nuts on him. Uh, okay, so you know my secrets. Uh, I'd like to know some of Kevin's. Does he know where Ace is? Um, I don't know where Ace is. I have no idea. I don't think Kevin does either. Well, then do me a favor and dig it out of him. Yeah, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. So, you don't have any problem telling Blair uh, deep, dark secrets, but uh, you draw the line at digging up dirt for me. I'm not going to discuss this anymore. Bye, Blair. Bye, Kelly. Well, that went well. <laughs> well. At least I'm not attacking Kevin. Come on, Todd. Margaret raped me. And uh, you found out about it. And we had a little talk. We got over it. And as you say, we're we're well on our way to getting our lives back. But that does not mean that I'm going to strand around and let Asa and Margaret get away with what they did to us. I'm going to do whatever I can, whatever it takes to make them pay. You understand me? And you're just going to have to sit back and like it. Because that's who I am. That's the Todd Manning you wanted back. Right? That is the Todd Manning that I love. I don't want to talk to you, Kevin. Okay, then just listen. Please. First off, I believe you. All right, and, and I was a jerk before. I just, I feel really bad about the way Blair found out about the rape. I don't know why, I just do. It wasn't your fault. It was just bad luck. Well, you're right about the other thing, too. I mean, it bugs me that Colson's going to become lieutenant governor, and there's nothing I can do about it. And I just took it out on the wrong person, and I'm sorry. Truce? Truce. Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you know where Asa is? No. No, I don't, Kelly. Wherever Grandpa's hiding, he's keeping it a secret from everybody. 